Hey guys, so it is June 12th. We are ready to leave for the airport. We, our flight got delayed like 25 minutes, but it gave us like a heart attack this afternoon because originally it said it was delayed. Like literally there was a minute between notifications at first that was like, your flight's delayed for tomorrow at 4 p.m. That would have taken like three days off for our vacation. So we had a mini heart attack. And then like a minute later, it was like, just kidding, 25 minutes late. Which is fine. We're going to arrive at the same time, which is what you should do. Because then sometimes they're like, oh, just kidding. We're actually arriving or departing on time. We are on our way to Logan Airport, Terminal E. I've been there before. You've not been there before. Because I went to Guatemala. But it is what it is. And when we will be off, we will have an hour before our following flight from Frankfurt. I kept saying Munich, but it's really Frankfurt that we're leaving from in Germany. So we'll have to get off the plane in Germany and have an hour to till our other plane gets off. So we're practically probably going to take half an hour to get off the plane and like run to the next gate. And practically as we get there, my guess is that we'll be boarding, but we'll do it. It's, it's down the same wing. Um, so we're about to leave and we'll see you guys at the airport. We made it. Look at how cool this place is. You literally can watch a movie and sit in a chair and eat in Germany. These are the chairs and they turn and they get to pick a movie. I get the TV and get like headphone jacks. How freaking cool. All right guys, here's the deal. We're gonna be stuck at this airport in Germany for nine hours. Yeah, so last night our flight was delayed four different times. So it was really like an hour and 40 minutes delayed. Big whip, whatever. We were like, we'll get there on time or like really close to making it to our um, connecting flight. Like maybe they'll let us off the plane first, yada, yada, yada. The way they pushed it, it was like, Hmm. Might happen, might not. We got on the plane, the pilot was like, I'm gonna actually get you there half an hour, 40 minutes early. We're like, fabulous, just enough time to get to the next gate. We arrived 10 minutes after our connecting flight took off. Was that so nice? Yeah, he promised us something that was completely the opposite. Um, also lost my safety razor at the TSA checkpoint. I didn't know that like, we females can bring like the disposables razors but I can't bring like the safety razor because of the blade and I didn't know that and he like kept shaking his head at me and I was like I don't know what to do with you they also forced us to check our carry-ons in which would be fine if we like didn't have medication in them like I'd my still air in them and I was like lady like no can't happen I have twelve thousand dollars worth of medication in there she was like too bad it's the rule we're doing it so I was like Jacob take the medication up so now we have the medication on hand however our bags we're hoping to dear god make it tonight so that was a little mess going through the security checkpoint there and then Boston was just like super busy all of the flights were getting delayed which is really annoying because I looked at the same flight the whole last week and it was on time or early every single time besides yesterday the flight in front of us that went to the same exact location was like four hours delayed for whatever reason and then because they took off so late and our plane got there it took them over an hour to check our plane which i think the flight attendants are probably just screwing around after like half an hour so that was really annoying we got on the plane the flight we had like extra leg room seats like i said they were really nice we had like extra stuff on our seats and it was really annoying because there was this like old lady behind us that they like were extra going above and beyond to try and like cater to which fine whatever besides the fact that you treat us very bluntly and you're just like here's food like no customer service um and then we hear you the way you're treating other people and it's like we didn't do anything we were very polite please and thank you always manners well so our seats had a blanket and a pillow but ours had actually on them we we're like okay whatever cool we had the blankets on the ground when we first took off but because they're in a bag um and we weren't exactly ready to use them yet, and we had four of them. Which we were like, we've never been on an international flight, like we don't know what they get. And I guess the people behind us didn't get theirs, like maybe someone screwed up and stopped giving them out. And so the lady, this one of the stewards like came up to us and was like, are those yours? Where are they? And we were like, oh, we just like, those weren't on our seats. And she was like, well, did you take them? Did I take them? No, they were on my seat. Also, the people behind us, were there first so how could I have taken them from them it was just really weird not to kind of give a bad review to La Panza, but like your customer service was not that great also when there was all of the delays they didn't want to share any information with us at the check-in desk which is really annoying and then 
instead of her just announcing to everybody that our flights would be rebooked as soon as we landed, she had everybody come up to her for like two hours straight and ask and her give the same exact answer. And she could have just made an announcement and everyone would have stopped coming up at the desk and everybody would have been mad from a distance and not bothered her. It was just, it was a little weird. So we get to this airport finally. Um, I slept for like, I'd say probably four hours of the flight. And then Jacob doesn't really know, but he like off and on slept. Also, we were right about to go to sleep when they were like, we're gonna serve food. And we got an email saying that we weren't gonna get food. So we bought a bunch of food at the airport. And then all of a sudden we were getting these meals that we were told we weren't gonna get. So that was cool. And then we landed, we got here. And then we, they were like, go to a customer service desk. The terminal that we were in, none of the customer service desks were open. There was nobody in there. So I tried to go around and finally I was like, I can't find one. Nobody's at them. All of the planes are like getting ready to board. So like there's hundreds of people lined up at every single terminal. I was like, let's just, let's just go to like our terminal. We had to go through customs, which was really weird to get to another terminal. And they also were like, why are you going to Sweden? And we were like, uh, vacation. And then they were like, we need to see your returning flight. We need to see the receipt. God forbid, like, my Wi-Fi was barely working. So I get, gave them that. And then they're like, okay, fine, you can go through. We are at our gate now. This airport has a lot of cool stuff. There were these really cool seats where you could, like, watch a movie. I filmed a little bit of it. Um, the now but of the thing is that I had to turn my cellular data to call the Scandic Rubin Inn, which is where we're staying, because... We're not going to get there until after midnight, and I was afraid our reservation was going to be closed. So now, not only do I have to pay for cellular data for today, which is a lot of money, um, I have to, we have to get to the airport. We're going to, like, land in Gonberg at, like, 1140, so, like, we'll probably be maybe getting our luggage by, like, 1210. We're going to be getting a taxi in the middle of the night and going to Gonberg, which is fine. Like, everything doesn't open till late, so we'll probably have a lot of time to sleep. It's just kind of annoying we ate i had this like really good panini i had some german kit kats we went to like the gaming room here but the gaming room didn't work there's like showers here never knew there were showers there's smoking lounges here for people that was really cool to also see um and i just took like a two-hour nap on the seat i which is a miracle because i also am a super light sleeper and apparently slept through an entire plane boarding don't know how i did that Jacob has been playing his video games. He's tired. Um, I'm now, this terminal, like, got really busy when we came back to, like, where our specific gate was. And then all of a sudden, everybody cleared out again. So there's nobody. So I'm at the end of this, like, dead terminal talking to you guys because I feel so awkward being in front of people and talking. I'm trying to think if there's anything. I've called Scandic. They're aware we're going to arrive late. Tomorrow we have days at the museum. It's just, like, if it was on the way home, cool, whatever. But we had a chance to make our connecting flight, but because the flight in front of us took off and they didn't want to reassign us a gate, and the people at gate E weren't even there. They didn't have a plane. They could have just moved us one gate over, and nobody boarded the entire time that we were there. But because they took forever, we got screwed over, and then we also screwed a following flight over that was getting so pissed because they were, sorry, it was Delta, um, get kept getting told like to go to one gate and then go to another one and then they were like we don't actually have gate for you we don't know where to go and those people were yelling at flight attendants it was really awkward also our ne i picked nice seats you don't get nice seats anymore because we got rebooked i'm going to see if maybe we can get compensation back because technically our flight we literally have been at the airport we have to stay for nine hours which is really crappy but what can we do and all i kept saying in my head was at least we will get there by tonight. Technically, we will have nine, ten hours to sleep. We can go to the museums tomorrow and relax, and we won't have cut into like one of our days. My biggest concern is that they were like, sorry, we can't book you till tomorrow, and I was gonna like miss an entire day in Gothenburg, which is a city that we mostly wanna see. Not really Stockholm. I'm fine if Stockholm gets a day cut out of it, but not Gothenburg. This is where we're at. Um, we also had to take like a bus after we got out of customs to get to this terminal, which was really weird. I filmed that, and this is currently my view. Looks like really crappy quality. It also, the landing was a little rough. The guy kept like going into the clouds and then rising above and then going and then rising above. And we were like, okay, when are we gonna land? Also, it's really weird because everything is in German here. Of course, we're in Germany. 
but it's funny to hear it so much and not know what it means. I feel like a total foreigner, but I said to Jacob as we were about to plan, I'm like, we're, we're coming in hot, we're coming in rough, and we got one tire down. Fine, cool, we're doing great. We get the other tire down. We like completely, we're like, oh, I am very surprised, This seriously surprised how big this airport is. I didn't think it would be that big. And it was really funny, these two police officers, the signs in this gate were really not that clear. Um, so one of the police officers was like, haha, Frankfurt sucks. Next time you guys should go to Munich. And I was like, pretty funny for the police officers. Here. Oh, also like the police officers here wear assault rifles on them in the airport, which understandable where in Europe it, it could, we could have a terrorist attack any day now. Um, but it's just weird to walk into a first world country versus like when I was in Guatemala, everybody has assault rifles with them. Cool. Whatever. Who cares? Guatemala you're probably gonna get shot um but here it's just a little strange but anyway I looked at the shops napped we tried to play the video games the video game room did not work because another the xboxes were like connected to wi-fi which part of a movie it is almost six o'clock now we will board in three hours and I'll probably just continue watching tv and eat for real though how eerie is this Completely dead terminal. We're like two or three gates down from here, but this is the complete end and there's nobody But it worked out for filming. I also forgot to mention it took us an hour just to get to our checking our bags and it was ridiculous Because everybody every person on the line had some kind of problem. It was so annoying <laughs>